Good morning, good noon, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are right now. We thank the Lord for this wonderful opportunity that we can be together through this uh, online worship service sa Philomer Christian University ng Christ Emphasis Week. Uh, Nagapasalamat kita ko sa mga organizers, especially sa mga chaplains sa pag-imbitar uh, sa akin sa sininga time, kag sa sininga opportunity nga ginatagyo sa akin nga makadala sa minsay sa inyo para sa sininga okasyon. The title of my message is With Christ in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. Isa ay nakakanta nga ginakanta sa mga nursery nga mga estudyante during sa Sunday school. With Christ in my vessel, I can smile at the storm. Now in the gospels, there is a story that the disciples and Jesus were aboard a vessel when they encountered a fierce storm. It can be considered an above normal storm because the disciples who were fishermen decided to wake up Jesus. Normally, a fisherman might not wake up a carpenter in the middle of the storm. Di ba Si Jesus, ang iya nga mga buhian, eh, siya isa ka karpintero. Pero ini nga mga kaupod yung mga disipulo, mga fishermen. So normally, hindi na nila pagbukawon si Jesus Christ. Pero grabe yan to, nga storm ang nag-agi sa ila. But they knew and believed that Jesus was more than a carpenter. They knew that He is the Messiah. 
So Jesus stood up and rebuked the winds and the waves. And then all was calm. Tanan nagkalma. Jesus also asked them, Kundiin ang ila pagtuo. Where is your faith? And they were afraid. Why were they afraid during that time? Ina nga mga naklatabo mga kauturan sa sinangatiyon, uh, may matunan kita ng mga uh, lessons sa sinang story. Now, where is this story situated? Uh, this story happened in the Sea of Galilee. Kagang Sea of Galilee is actually the lowest fresh water lake in the world. So, hindi ni siya baybay ang ilang agin agyan, kundi isa kadako-dako nga suba. It is also called Kinneret or Kinneret or Lake Gennesaret or Lake Tiberias in the Gospel. So, amoy na ang mga sinonymous ng mga ngalan kung magbasa kita sa New Testament. It is approximately 53 kilometers in circumference and has been utilized from biblical times and even up to now as a major source of tap water, agriculture, and fishing. Mga kuturan sa Gospels, kung magbasa kita, there are many stories that happen in the Sea of Galilee or in the seashore of the Sea of Galilee. Kaangay sa pagtawag ni Kristo Yesus sa iya na unang mga gintutunan. Now, in the passage that uh, Philomer Christian University has chosen for the CEW, the passage can be found in Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. Amo ini ang situation, amo ining setting sang boat ride ni Jesus Christ and with his disciples. The lake, na ay nakakanto kami dito sa Sea of Galilee, may ahara gidya tub-tub subong sa ginatawag na squalls o kon storm sa ila. This is because it is surrounded by mountains nga nagaak as funnels Okay? Nag-a-act as funnel, sang hangin, nalin sa babaw. Kaginaigo ang, uh, ang imo sa kayan. So the squalls could come anytime. Sang dito kami sang 2018, we had to transfer from one port into another because of a squall. So kung may boat ride ka dito sa tunga-tunga sang Sea of Galilee, it could happen to you as well. Pero ugaling ang mga sakayan sumong dito nga ginasakyan sa mga tourist dako na yang nga klase sang vessel ang sang una nga panahon ng ila ni Jesus gamay nga klase nga makulbaan kagid kung magabot ang ining squall or ang storm now very interesting my friends that the three gospels Matthew Mark and Luke recorded the story this story and let me read this to you ang tatlo ka passages in Mark uh, in Matthew chapter 8 verse 25 magasiling the disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. In Mark chapter 4, verse 38, it says, The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? In Luke chapter 8, verse 24, it says, The disciples went and woke him, saying, Master, Master, we're going to drown. Tatloka version ang in-record sa tatlo ka gospel writers. So, mga kauturan, kanami, isang sini, kay lain-lain nga perspective, but silingon, sari-sari nga mga disipulo ang naghambal sa kay Jesus, kag nagpukaw kay Jesus during that time. Si Matthew, nagpangabay ang mga disipulo nga luwason sila, kaya daw malumos na sila. Si Mark, ginbasol pa nila si Jesus nga daw wala sa bungog, nga malunod na sila. Si Luke, ang mga disipulo nagsugid sa ila kaintangan nga malunod na sila. Tatlo man kasahi ang sabat ni Jesus Christ on these three records of the three Gospels. Nantahon natin ang uh, ini nga mga responses ni Jesus Christ. Mga utod, ano balaya ang aton nga, nga immediate response kung narap kita sa piligro sa aton kabuhi? Ayhan ang iba nagapangabay nga luwason. Ayan ang iba nagapangabay, ah, nagahambal nga, nagapangbasol o kung nagapangtumboy. Kang ang iba nagaplastar kung anong kahimtangan nila sa kay Kristo Yesus. So, three reactions nga ito makita sa mga disciples during the time. And we also have actually those three reactions araman sa aton. So, ano bala ang iya ni Jesus nga pagresponde sa ila 
nga mga panugdaon. No, sa silingko kagina, do kakaladlawan gid ni tulukon ng ilakim tangan. Ang mga bitirano nga mga manupang isda sa Sea of Galilee, sila mismo ang nagpangabay kay Jesus o kung nagbasol kay Jesus sa ila kayong tangan kag nangayop sila bulig sa isa ka karpentero. Now, let us go back to the Gospels on the three replies of Jesus nga gin-record sa balaan niya kasulatan. First, He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then He got up and rebuked the winds and the waves and it was completely calm. Ang unang una, nga pag-record sa isa ka gospel. On the second record of the gospel, it says, He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet! Be still! Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. He said to His disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? Kag sa katatlo na gospel record, ang sabat ni Jesus amo ini. He got up, and rebuked the wind and the raging waters. The storm subsided and all was calm. Where is your faith? He asked his disciples. So three reactions and three responses from the Lord Jesus Christ. Ang commonality sa tatlo ka version, amo, nga ginpamangkot sila ni Jesus, kung nga aging kulbaan sila, kag ginpamangkot sila kung diin na ang ila pagtuo o kung nga naggamay na lang ang ila pagtuo o kung wala na sila sang pagtuo. Jesus rebukes His disciple for lack of faith. By asking where their faith was, He is reminding them of His care for them. Often this point in the passage is lost as we marvel over the coming of the sea. Even though he seemed to be absent and uncaring, he was there and they could rest in the knowledge that he knew what was happening to them. Faith would have told them that God would take them through the terrible storm. So Jesus takes the coming of the storm as an opportunity to remind them that he will care for them. They need to have more faith in God's goodness. They need an applied faith that will hang tough under pressure. Now, what lessons can we learn in relation to the theme of the Philomer Christian University CEW? Ang theme ninyo nagasiling, Fear not, have faith. What lessons can we learn from this? First, Jesus cares. Let us remember that. Jesus cares. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, nagasiling, Give all your worries to me, for I care for you. This is Jesus Christ telling us. This tells us that Jesus came in the midst of crisis. When the limits of human resource had been reached and exhausted, Jesus will be there for us. One thing is perfectly clear, my friends. In the hour of the disciples' need, Jesus came to help them. Amuman ina sa aton mga kauturan. Secondly, Jesus is asking us to increase our faith in Him. Kabay pa nga aton dumdumon nga si Ginong Jesus nagatatapgit sa aton kagikadua aton gidumdumon nga kinanlan magdugang paginang aton pagtuo sa iya. Si Jesus ay han nagaugtas sa ila kagay han nagasiling sa ila upod nyo nagid ako kulbaan pa kamo? Di nang inyo pagtuo man? Permini gaugta si Jesus sa mga pagtuo sa mga disipulo. Kangay manayhan sa aton mga utod. But let us remember this. Let us increase our faith in Jesus because Jesus will always be there for us. Jesus is our present, ever-present help in times of need. He will always be there to assure us that He will come the storm when we ask for His help. Ano ba lang mga storm sa imo kabuhi sa buong nga ginaatubang? Aside from COVID-19 nga pandemic, ano pagid ba lang nga mga unos nga ginaagyan sa imo kabuhi sa buong? Remember this, my friends. Jesus should always be our first recourse rather than our last resort. 
kung ano man nga problema ang imong natubang kung ano man nga bagyo ang inatubang sa imong kabuhi kabay pa nga dumdumon naton nga si Jesus ang unahon naton indi nga unahon tang aton kaugalingon nga kusog kag kun wala nakita sa mamahimo ang mo pagdangop naton kay Kristo Jesus no that is wrong we should ask Jesus first in the story Jesus was sleeping while there was a storm the disciples could not do anything to steady the boat The boat during their time was not as well built as the small fishing boats right now without riggers. When the disciples realized that they cannot do anything more, they asked for Jesus' help. What they should have done was to come to Jesus first. Pero wala nila ginimo kaangay man sa aton. This teaches us, my friends, that we need to come to Jesus first and not try and not to try our own solutions that will actually eventually fail. Ang isa ka tao nga may grabe nga pagtuo na gasiling, I am telling my big problem that I have a big God. Kabay pa nga may amu kita sina na perspective. Thirdly, Jesus is telling us that the storm will always pass. This means that we have hope, my friends. Tanan kita ay han nagalaon man nga matapos na ang 2020 kay para masugdan na ito ng 2021. We had this feeling that since it is a new year, it will be a different one from the other year. But this is not so. The COVID-19 pandemic continues. Let us remember what Jesus said in John chapter 16, verse 33. Siling niya, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Ano ba lang ilang baldri ni Cristo Jesus, mga utod? What Jesus said is true. In this world, we will always have troubles. Tutuod yun din na. The good thing here is that the statement of Jesus did not end with this mention of troubles. Jesus Christ followed it up with a statement of hope. He said, But take heart. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Mga kauturan, what are some of the things that we could learn from the statement of Jesus? If we have faith in Jesus, we can say to any situation, Jesus had already overcome you. We need to develop this perspective in our daily life. So kung may ginatubang ka nga problema, may ginatubang ka nga pagpanghangkat, hambala lang ina. Jesus has already overcome you. Jesus has already overcome you. Jesus has already overcome you. Kung anuman nga trouble ang imong natubang. We could imagine that the disciples would look back to the encouraging words of Jesus when they encountered a difficult situation later on in the book of Acts. Wala na si Jesus Christ Nagkayab na balik sa kalangitan, pero nag-remind sa aton, nag-remind sa mga disipulo that they could always look back on what happened and they would be, uh, their faith would increase and their hope, they will have hope on whatever situation they were in. It gave them hope. It gave them inspiration. And you know what, my friends? This is the best thing. They eventually wrote it down. And we have the New Testament We have the New Testament and we could always go back to the Bible when we encounter tough situations. My friends, in closing, let me say this. If we have faith that Jesus Christ really cares for us, we can surely say, with Christ in my vessel, I can smile at the storm until He guides me home. May God bless you. May God bless Philomer Christian University. May God bless us all. Amen.